What is the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best utility players in Dream Team. So the players on this list have a mixture of amazing stats and player skills. They're able to play multiple, multiple positions and slot in anywhere around the pitch. And they also have unique, amazing potential that you can train them up in varied ways. You can turn a CMF into a center forward. You can turn left wingers into right midfielders or right backs, center backs into DMFs and so on and so forth with the proper training. We'll have a look at that on eFootballDB.com in a few minutes. But we're also going to have a look at players that have really nice form that they'll never be usually, you know, they'll usually be up form with the player arrows. And it's a mixture of all those combined. So we're going to start with budget options starting now. So let's go. Ben Arfa, right? 8,000 GP. He is your budget option of this video. I will be doing a part two of this series if you want even more players because there's a lot of gems out there. But Ben Arfa, look at the positions that this guy can play, man. He's so, so, like he's, he's the perfect utility man for Dream Team. You can slot him in. His form is standard, which is a small little downgrade on him. There is a few players better than him, which we'll get to in a minute. But for that price, 8,000, he is your GP budget bargain buster. And he can play so many positions and do a nice job for you. Next up, we've got Maitland Niles. So this guy is actually registered as a CMF. I used to play him as a right back in last year, I think, or the year before in co-op. And he was insane. It was a featured edition of his card, right? If you just take a quick look at his stats, right? Player skills, yeah, he's got double touch, Marseille turn, track back, all that sort of stuff, right? But if you take a look at his stats there, 79 speed, 78 acceleration without even training him. And he goes up to 49 levels. He can play all the defensive positions as well, apart from CB. This guy, I've been waxing lyrical about him, lads, Mabu. He featured in one of my videos as well for the best right backs and hidden gems. So he's a big, I'm a big, big fan of his. Uh, he's 20,000 GP. He can play so many positions in the back. It's very rare to get somebody that has the height and the speed to be able to play left back, right back and centre back. And he can also play right midfield as well if you're badly stuck. This guy, lads, get him. You will not regret getting him. He is unbelievable. One of the biggest hidden gems in eFootball so far. Now, we're going to take a quick look on eFootball DB and I'm just going to show you what this guy can actually turn into. So we're going to max out his player level here and then we're actually going to just simulate and see, okay, what will he look like if I fully boost up his speed? So I put his speed up to 90, I put his acceleration up to 90, and then all you really need to look at is maybe you want to either put him as a right back as a dribbler and a kind of a ball player, or you want him to be a complete defender, right? I would probably have him as a defender because you can slot him in CB as well. Um, obviously, you might need a couple of points for his play style and stuff, but you look at those stats there, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, stamina is high, ball winning is high incredible player and he can just be so uh he can be utilized in any position there next up we've got alex texera he is twenty two thousand gp attacking midfielder now this guy is massively massively underrated look at the amount of positions he can play look at the amount of stats that he has at his base level right He's 75 overall, but he's got 75 speed, 79 acceleration, 78 tight possession, 76 dribbling, 76 balance. The amount of player skills that this guy has is unbelievable. By him, he'll be the best 22,000 you will ever spend in Dream Team. Next up is a man close to my heart, Corona. If you guys are watching the series Dream Team Chronicles, you will see that Corona is one of my favorite players. Now, right, this guy can play left back or right back, right midfield, right wing. He can play center forward, SS, and he can play left wing or left midfield. He's the perfect utility man, perfect stats for, you know, molding in whatever way that you can. He's got 29 levels to go, potential-wise. Player skills are on point. He's got unwavering form. He's just an unbelievable utility man, lads. He's amazing. Morales. Now, I kind of... This guy kind of caught my eye, right? Firstly, he's under 40,000. He's 34,000 GP. Amazing stats, amazing finishing for that level of a player for 34,000. Speed and acceleration is really nice. He's got double touch. He's got long range curler, dip and shot. Dip and shot is really important this year, it seems, if you can get the stunning shots right. But this guy is just an amazing player to boost up and to train. I mean, he can go to, I think it's 86 with his total levels. So he is definitely worth a punt as well. Next up, we have got Nacho, right? So Nacho is 51,000. And again, it goes back to that little... That holy trinity of positions that Mabu had and a few of the other defenders had. You got your left back, your right back, and your center back. He's able to excel in all of those positions. So you can train him up however you please. Personally for me, because of his acceleration being at a base level a bit too low, 
I would probably make this guy my defensive right back or left back if I was going that route. I wouldn't make him my speedy bringing the ball forward type of player. But you could easily turn him into a centre back as well. He's amazing. Next up, we've got Porto. So when I was kind of looking at this guy, right, and I was thinking, this guy has got such amazing speed and amazing stats. And he also has a load of levels to go, right? We're going to take a look at him actually in a minute to see what you can actually turn him into as a dedicated right winger. On top of that, he's kind of like Corona as well. Now, he's a bit more expensive, but he can play pretty much every position in the in the start in the attacking areas of the pitch. And he can also play right back as well if you're badly stuck. He won't excel as much, but he can play there. But if you're going into look at Porto here and you see his speed, I mean, his base level is at level one is, is um, 80, right? And 78 acceleration. If we boost that up and we want to make him, you know, our Neymar, our, our speedster, like, you know what I mean? Our pure speed, that we just want to have a player that's pure speed and dribbling. We want to turn him into a dedicated out outright uh, dribble kind of centric winger, right? We can get him up to nearly 90 pace and we can get him up to, you know, 83 dribbling, 80 type possession for a fraction of the price of what the top, top, top class wingers. Like there's some wingers that you will only get like maybe one or two stats better and they're like five times the price, genuinely, or more. They're like 600 or like 300,000, you know what I mean? So this guy is definitely worth training up. He's got unwavering form as well, as far as I know. Now this guy, Gomez, this guy's been a bit of a hidden gem in Pez games for the last couple of years, most notably because he's able to play so many positions. I remember playing with him last year, the year before, as an SS, and he was just amazing, and you can see why, you can look at all his stats, right, he doesn't have a stat lower than 73 in all his attacking stats, and his strength stats with his speed, his acceleration, his kicking power and balance are all 74 plus, he's also got unwavering form, he can play so many positions for 82,000, he's a steal, so bits are similarly, this guy lads, this guy is amazing in the game, a lot of people have been asking me about him, a lot of people are saying that he's a bit of a hidden gem as well, I think he is. He's got a wavering form. Again, he's got all the low to mid-range 70 stats. He can play any position. You can even turn him into a striker. Like he, with his, like he has finish in 67. You could boost up to 75 if you really wanted a striker. But I would definitely just have him as my box-to-box -box player and turn him in instead of a creative playmaker, a box-to-box. -box. Next up, we've got Sterling. So we spoke about Porto and we talked about the speed and we talked about having that balance, right? Sterling is in a very similar position. You can get Sterling up to like 95 acceleration and 95 speed. He's one of the quickest players in the game. He's amazing to control. He's amazing to handle. I think the only thing that lets Sterling down is his dribbling and his tight possession, right? So if you want to make a decision to boost up speed, acceleration, or you want to be a dribbler, his stats are a little bit too low, but for the amount of positions he can play, he is definitely one of the wingers to watch. Alaba, again, similarly here. Alaba, he can't play right back in, you know, fully. You can see there it's grayed out. He can play it as a secondary position, but he can play CMF, DMF, left wing, left mid, uh, center back, left back. I mean, this guy is the Swiss army knife, genuinely, of eFootball. Everyone seems to have him now. He seems to be amazing. He's got everything that you could possibly need, and you can train him up exactly how you see fit as well. So he is definitely, I would think one of the best players to buy in eFootball. Next up, we've got Kisa. So Kisa is a player that, you know, he needs no introduction, right? He needs no introduction. He is an amazing, amazing player. He's genuinely one of my favorite players to use. He, I have him on my second squad. But uh, to be honest with you, like if you're going to be buying somebody like this for the price, you do need to look at all the options. Like you do need to look. But I think Kisa being able to play any position up front apart from CF, left mid, right mid, he gives you so many options and to be able to train him as well. Last up, we have got a man that needs no introduction. He keeps rewinding time and turning back time, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, firstly, we're going to take a quick look at him, right? So he did have a featured version of, the, of his card already out in the grey finishers. And if you look here, you can see, you know, comparing that to his basic card, you can see that there's a couple of pluses and a couple of minuses and a couple of ways that you can improve him. But if we want to turn Cristiano Ronaldo into his peak prime years with the speed stir, the dribbling or whatever, I think that is the way to go with him, right? We can go both ways. We can either go as kind of like, we can kind of improve upon him as he is in the game and turn him into like a kind of a, a fairly decently paced uh, finisher where his finishing is really high. Um, he's good in the air or else we can turn him into our, like a speedster and like a, a complete speedster if that's the way we wanted to do it right now there's two ways that you can do it obviously you can you know do whatever way you want to do it but that's kind of where you get it with him 
Um, but as you can see here from his stats, his basic stats on his main page, like he has everything that you could possibly need. And again, as I said, if you've got 500,000 GP or you've got in around that sort of money and you're looking at the likes of maybe Sun or you're looking at Haaland, maybe you should spend the extra bit on Haaland. I think, you know, unless you're going to be going for Mbappe or unless you've got Romario or Eto in one of the special agents, I don't think there's anyone better than Ronaldo at the moment in terms of sheer scoring you know as in real life he's just able to bang them in you know headers volleys crosses he just finishes everything uh long range shots he's got all the player skills for that he does have standard form which is the only downside to him i think that's just to balance him out a tiny bit because he is just so op uh but i do think that ronaldo if you train him up and you give him a couple of little boosts to his stats and his finishing or else his his speed you know you could play him on the winger and turn back time you could give his boost to dribbling and speed I think he is an amazing player to buy. So that is it for part one, lads. Let me know if you do want part two. I do have about 20 more players to get through, but let me know if you're enjoying this series or if you'd like to see anything else. Until next time, hope you enjoyed it. Peace.